I'm not filmed to talk through in a minute of my face, but <clears throat> here we are. I'm going to take a, like, I'm going to set this up and I'm going to take a break because my stomach, I just filmed this plate with me and my stomach is growling so loud. I need to go, like, eat something. I'm probably going to eat a muffin because it seems quick and easy because eventually I'm going to eat lunch. It's like one of those things that, like, I had a coffee and it's 10.07 and, like, I would prefer, honestly, to, like, wait for lunch. But I feel like, I don't know. It's what, I don't know. You don't know? You ever get like this? I feel like that's just the time I get hungry. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, Bleh. let me change out my plans as well. Oopsies. It's like when I get hungry. So now, like, I'm not hungry i'm not gonna i don't want to not be hungry for lunch but also i don't want my stomach to sound like i'm gonna pass away uh, yeah no the struggles the struggles figure it out life such is okay so as far as like stuff i'm using goes we have um this is the week of march 18th to 21st i'm using yield fair which is still in shop I have solid underlays from Planet Hannah and Burgundy. I also have the um, shimmer underlays in Champagne Lights. I have the butterfly bundle in Champagne Lights. I have um, font to Planet Hannah Customs um, in Pixie Gold. And then I also do have the add-ons, which are not in shop anymore, I don't think. But I do have the um, fashion and then some fams and then a doodle. So how I take my little, um, thumbnail picture is with my phone and then I just edit it in Photoshop. So that's what she looks like. Photo. Um, I'm not going to eat anything. I don't want to ruin my lunch. Okay. If you hear rumbles, I am sorry. It is just the way my tummy is going. So Let's go ahead and get into this. I have some pen on here. I need to like get a uh, dry or what are those things called? Magic eraser. But yeah, this is what the kid looks like. Super cute. I'm using this because next week is Chris's birthday. Not that I really feel like I need to like mark Chris's birthday, but you know, whatever. It's also giving me March vibes because it's like green. So, and I don't think I'm going to be going to, like, the Forest Fair or Renaissance Fair or anything, like, this year. So, and I really wanted to use this kit. So, let's go ahead and, uh, let me give you, let me actually zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see, like, what, like, I have going on all around, you know? So, normally, like, whenever I'm, like, organizing this, I pull, like, things out that I, okay, I know that I, like, need. And I kind of have, like, a method to the madness. Like, this I don't need for the base, so I put it aside. Don't need for the base, so I put it aside. Don't need for the base, so I put it aside. Don't need for the base, so I put it aside. I do need. Um, don't need for the base, so I put it aside. We got boxes. I kind of like put all the boxes over here. Don't need for the base. And then I like look through here too. Like I'm not going to use the butterfly underlay, so I'm going to put those like far away because I'm not using them. Um, and then this is overlays, so those are like after I put down the base. Don't need any of those current. Um, and then I will need these for the base as well as this. Um, these are overlays, so I'm going to put them with the overlays. And then, but these are on top so I can see kind of like what I'm going to do here. And then these are my underlays. I'm going to do a like layered moment. And then these are all the boxes I have to work with. So I usually start with the bottom washi. So for that, I usually take whatever bottom washi I'm using and decide, all right, what do I want to do here? Um, I used to do like the solid on top, but I feel like Kittenish just did this first and I was like, oh my that she looks really good. I do like the patterned with the more like spaced out, um, item. So for this would be the butterflies because then, um, I feel like you can see them, like you see the pattern better in the background and then the pattern one on the solid because the solid there's not a lot of interest going on so i feel like that just makes all of the sense okay so we're gonna stick these out i feel like there's always like not a lot to talk about during my bases because well it's i could talk about things but then also i feel like i would just mess up everything because if you've seen me do a base before that's usually what happens is i mess something up because i'm too busy yapping um, I'm trying to think like what I did this week. Oh, 
Well, I guess I could tell a story. So this week was a real crap show. So, so throughout the week, we found out that Lila had hand, foot, and mouth, which is always fun. Um, she's fine now. And then I think Theo ended up, I don't know if it was this week or the next, found out that he had strep, which is always fun. Um, we also found out Theo's iron is low, so he's on an iron supplement, which is, you have to give kids liquid iron, you know, that that's a real tragedy because it's disgusting. There's literally no way to make it taste better. Um, and the chewables aren't any better, they say. So, and then the, like, real kicker here is that Bennett had his appendix removed this week. Was it this week or was it next week? It's next week, but I'll tell the story this week, and maybe I'll tell it again next week, depending on... It was Monday, so it's, like, this was, like, the lead-up. So, um, when did it... Bennett had been complaining, um... I didn't really put too much of this in there, besides, like, whenever... Um, I don't, okay. I don't remember the exact days. We're just gonna, we're gonna tell you the, the, just the roundabouts. So basically what happened was, maybe three, no. So Bennett had been complaining mostly at night about like his stomach hurting, like so much so that he would like be crying about it, which Bennett is definitely more of my, like, not, like, he's very sensitive. Like, if Theo or Lila, like, bumps their head on something, like, they'll cry about it for, like, a second and then walk away. Bennett, it's, like, a 45-minute, like, theatrics. So, it's one of those, like, he always says, like, we've taken him, like, in to the doctor and they'll be like, it's, there's nothing going on here. He's just, like, a little... It's like, it's, it's definitely might hurt, but it's not like that. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. It's hard. Cause you don't know what's like, it's like the little boy who cried wolf, but so basically he was complaining his stomach hurt, but it was only at night. So it was kind of weird. And then, so after like a couple of nights of that, um, we took him to his, I don't remember exactly what order this all went in. I think, hmm. I think we, it was, I'm trying to think what day it was, because I don't remember exactly what happened, but we made him an appointment. How does the color blocking work? We made him an appointment, because he also had, there's no other symptoms. It was just his stomach hurt. So, and where he was pointing wasn't, like, where the appendix, like, is. Like, they kept saying, oh, is it on, like, whatever side it is, and we're like, no. And he's like, no. So, we take him to his primary like doctor and they're like yeah like you know it doesn't seem like anything based on like all of their like little tests and things that they do but I think maybe just take him over to the children's hospital just to like check because you know better safe than sorry which honestly that's I always I always yield on better safe than sorry like I feel like the amount of times where I'm like, I could take them to the doctors, but they don't seem like really like, doesn't seem like that serious of a thing. Nothing is ever like serious, but it's usually like they have strep, they have an ear infection, they have this. And I'm like, well, I guess my intuition was correct. Um, But anyways, so Nick took him and then he took him down to the children's hospital. Um... And then, or maybe he didn't take him to the primary. Maybe he took him to, like, an urge, a kid's urgent care. I don't really know. Either which way, he went to the children's hospital. Children's hospital did a bunch of different things. They did blood work. They did, um, I think they did, I don't know if they did an x-ray or something else. I don't know. They did a bunch of different stuff. Basically, the conclusion was, is that he, oh, next time. He is constipated. That's, like, the whole thing. And I'm going to probably stop filming in a second. But anyways, I'll just keep talking while I can. So we were like, okay, so, like, we, you're trying to, like, fix that, you know. And, you know, three nights later, he's still crying at night. And, like, they're like, you know, just give him, like, um, Tylenol and stuff. Like, it could be, like, really bad constipation and then, like, you know, things to, like, get rid of that, blah, blah, blah. 
So we're doing that and I'm like, Nick, like it's been how many nights? Like, like, we, like something's got to give, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. So I was like, Nick, if he wakes up tonight, like you're just going to take him back because, oh, did I mess this up? I messed this up. Okay. Let me just move this all over because I'm silly. So I was like, yeah, if he cries tonight, like you're just going to take him to the children's hospital again. And he did cry again, like, uh, for the second or third night after, you know, like, he did end up pooping. It's just, it, I don't know. So, Nick took him in, and they did an MRI, they did a CT scan, they did all kinds of stuff. And they could not find his appendix, which I guess, like, they were saying that, like, a certain percentage of people, their appendix isn't where it's supposed to be. Um... So, Bennett's appendix actually was where he said it was hurting, but that's just not normally where your appendix is. So, they were like, okay, like, his appendix has got to go then because that's what's going on. So, basically, he had his appendix removed. Um, and that basically solved it all for the most part, I guess. Like, he has, like, pain now, but it's just, like, pain from the surgery um so yeah, that's like I guess the whole story but it was just like first it was constipation and then it was like oh wait it's actually his appendix so glad we just kind of went back in and was like yeah I don't really think that it's constipation he's really like in pain so yeah that was that it's never a dull moment or anything you know what I'm saying but then it's sweet boy and he was a champ for it all but he's back to school back to regular life he just can't do like gym or playgrounds or anything for another week but that is oh a okay he's like there's a buddy bench at school i could sit at and talk to people and i was like that is a great idea about her you're a smart little cookie so we love him he's like in the beginning of the year i was like we were a little concerned i guess because I feel like he wasn't, oh my god, I feel like his reading and his writing was kind of like, well, his reading actually wasn't bad. It was mostly his writing was kind of rough, but um, his writing has gotten so good, and his reading is, like, insane. Like, he, there's, like, nothing he can't read. He's, like, reading full books, which is wild. It went from, like, zero to 100, and I think it's also, like, his interest level in books has gotten, like, really hi but he'll sit down and like read a book and i just think it's the cutest thing in the whole entire world so that is that i'm not sure why nick hasn't come inside yet but i'm just gonna keep on keep it on okay my father-in-law also it's like it's like one thing after another i feel like our luck has turned but it was just wild because um my father-in-law also got pneumonia which is just honestly wild like times and he's also like the kind of person who's like I'm fine. I like, I just am a little sick. And then he finally went to the doctor and they're like, if you didn't come in, you would have been in the hospital like within a couple of days. That's how bad he was. But no, like I was like, yeah, it's because you're an old man. So you've got to take care of yourself and you can't just wait until the last minute to go to the doctor because you got to take care of yourself. Oh my God, that scared me. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so went ahead and kind of fast forward a little bit because um, I had some things to do. So let's go ahead and get into the good old day by day. I have some, zoom me out, show you. I got some icons here. I have stuff like custom multi, etc. This is like the difference in champagne lights and pixie gold. If you're wondering, this is a little bit warmer. But I feel like once you have everything down, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, and then I don't think I really have like a color that's going to match as far as color of the weeks go. I feel like this is a little bit of a specific color. I feel like this one wouldn't be like horrible with it. Or like a light pink maybe. Or like maybe a... I don't know. I need to do like a white. I feel like that's actually really cool. A really, really light color. on a nasal match like 
It wouldn't be like bad, but it wouldn't be great. Like a brown. Again, wouldn't be bad, wouldn't be great. Nothing that's really tickling the fancy. Maybe I have a brown. I just did a brown, didn't I? Or did I like imagine it? I don't know. Maybe we'll just live without them. Question mark. Got reds. Got like taupes, blacks, marbles. I think we'll just pass. Oh wait, I have this starry gold. I think that'd be bad. I think that'd be like workable. Let's do that. Okay. Actually, the things that I pull out to get, you know, the party started. So let's go ahead and get into the good old day by day. So first thing on um, Monday, I did take Mr. Theodore to daycare. Usually Nick takes them but I took him this day I'm gonna put that in this is gonna look so good so so good it's gonna be annoying how good it looks um so for that I actually didn't grab my like scissors and stuff I'm gonna go ahead and use a little car from the foil bundle and then just use a Theo script do me sweetie boy and then I did go to H-E-B by myself. I think Lila was sick, question mark. So that's, that's the reason. So I went to the good old Heberoni to get some groceries. Actually, I have to go on a little trip in. After I'm done with this video, maybe. I also need to film my favorites, but like, I don't feel like putting makeup on and I feel like if I look a little rough, you know, it's like one of those non-win-win situations. And then I'm going to put this in for um, a therapy appointment. So we're going to put that in. And then maybe I'll do a little computer for that since it is virtual. Wow, this is looking fantastic. Then I just work, 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 like the whole, whole dang day. There's just, I feel like I was like mega behind on life, this situation. So I'm going to do that and I'm just going to use the scribbler on the lappy top because that's how I work. And then I did make bagel sandwiches for dinner, which I don't know why I never thought to make them. But they were delicious. Everybody loved them. I actually might write that down. Bagels. Because I feel like everybody liked it so much. And it was such an easy, like, meal to, like, whip up. So, made those for the good old dinner. So, I'm just going to use a little, the little egg here. I think that's kind of cute for... Because they were bagels and eggs and, like, bacon and cheese. You know, the huge bagels. And then I did have some me time. I did read and take a bath, which are two of my favorite things in the whole wide world to do. So we're gonna use this other fancy label there. And I'm just gonna use the little scribbler that has like the, the towel on and put a little me time in there. Okay, then on Tuesday, I did sleep in, not like a lot, but like enough that I'm like, we're going to market. So let's go ahead and plop that in. Did sleep in a smidge. It was like 7.30, I slept in until, but I feel like compared to what I had been sleeping to, and then my sleep just goes. Like I don't, I don't get any sleep after this pretty much basically. So sleep in this day. And then I work, 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 worked. We're gonna do that with one of these, I think. And then underneath it, I'm gonna put in another little thing for um, having the good old uh, McDonald's. So for working, I am going to use 
I'm actually going to use, I feel like I rarely ever do the little planner gal because I mean, I do planner stuff, you know what I'm saying? And then for McDonald's, I am going to go ahead and pull out the little Happy Meal because Happy Meals are just so fun and iconic. So for work, I am going to, did I not do a work? Ugh. I feel like I'm going to be like lost on work stickers here. I guess I could just use one of these, right? Like it's not the end of the world. I'm trying to see if I just like moved it. I have hustle, but I don't think, no, I think I'm just going to do work. Or don't know what I was thinking. I'm just going to do this work sticker. It works. Hee hee hee. Cute. Then um, I did go see Wicked with my neighbor. Um, let's see. Oh, perfect. It is orange. Love to see it. Love to see it. So we're going to stick that in there. Probably going to pull out a Wicked sticker. Is it going to match? No, not really. But you know what? Actually, alphabet matches just enough. You know what I'm saying? Just enough with the green. I don't even care. I think it looks cute. I love Wicked. This is like my seventh, eighth, or ninth time seeing it. I don't really know, but first time seeing it traveling, so that was fun. And then I was up every 45 minutes with Miss Lila. Freaking joy this night because this is when it started going all downhill with her sleep. So love to see it. So I was very 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 sheepy so let's do this and a with lila script the scripts are from hannah and they are in font too and like i said pixie gold on wednesday um lila was home with hand foot mouth and we were like might as well just keep theo home because you never know with these garage cans. So we'll do that. And then I think I'm going to just do the little doctor stethoscope situation for hanging out with Lila and Theo most of this day. And then I tried to work a little, but it was very unsuccessful. I'm not going to lie. And then I was super irritated with Sir Nicholas this day. He was P and me O. We won't get into it. Even though I feel like he kind of like got his way anyway. So you want to show me a lotion? Sort of. I feel like it was, I guess, like a compromise, but still annoying. Okay, let's stick that down. This is for me attempting to work, which again, I do not have another work sticker. So I think I'm just gonna do the little um, laptop because I was like trying to work, but the kids were just kidding. So with kids, trying to work with kids, and then for being super irritated at Sir Nicholas, I think I'm going to use this one from Once More With Love. The like, they look PO'd. Um, have a little mad AF here. Looks so cute. It's annoying. And then I was super tired. I got McDonald's again. I did mention last week, I think, that you're on a McDonald's kick and kind of don't want to even look at McDonald's now, if I'm being honest with you. Ooh. I did eat though. It's been a while, <clears throat> but I did eat some food. So my stomach is not crowding anymore, but I am thirsty. Got one of the new Stanleys. So good. Some water. I did finish Bride this night, which was good. Rated like a 4.5. Um... A little weird at times, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like that's what everyone says who's read it. Just not in the know with all those things, do you know what I mean? It's like the Omega verse or something. I don't know, but the smut in it was a little different. A little 
different. And then me and Nick, you know, meet up. So we were just cuddling in the PMs. Um... Um, I'll do cuddles here. And then for finishing bride, I think I may actually use a, I think I have some under random. So I'm like, yeah, here we go. I don't think her, I don't know if her blonde or brown. We'll just use the blonde. I don't remember actually. Should have looked up like fan cast for it because I don't really like picture anyone specifically when reading Bride. Okay, Pretty Good by Ali Hazelwood. And then on Thursday, I did sleep in. This day I slept in till 8.30. Now that's like a real sleep in. Um, all of the kids were home this day because this is when Bennett started to like be like not thrilled with life about his like hip. We thought it was his hip or that he was constipated at this point in time. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and put it the kind of situations of, you know, I don't even know. Then all the kids were home. So and I also had to like hustle with working like because I was already like way behind because the kids were all home. And obviously like Nick is also home, but the kids are very like they want one parent. They want one parent. There's no like talking them out of it really so uh, um yeah and sometimes you just gotta take one for the team so we're gonna do this with a with fam sticker and then for hustling with work i am going to use a little laptop sticker um and then a hustle script Trying to get everything done before Friday. And then I did nap. Like, I don't think I, like, planned to nap. I just, like, fell asleep. It's just... When I'm hustling, I probably shouldn't do that. So, I did nap. And then I just hung out with the fam. And then I was just reading. This night, I read over... 50% of Annie bought this night. I was like super into it. So for taking a nap and being tired, I think I'm going to use this. I was just so sleepy because I think I hadn't slept like well in a couple nights at this point. Um, so we have a little nap script. And then underneath that for hanging with the kidders, I'm just gonna grab like a little Bennett sticker here. And then a with kids. And then I just had some me time and read my book. So let's go ahead and grab hmm, this little book sticker down here. This is looking so swell, so beautiful. I love it. Ugh. I love the dark underlays with like the sparkly on top. It looks so good. Okay, so the kids were all home this day and this is the day that Bennett and Nick went to the hospital. So I don't wanna mark this. I'm gonna do like a little bit of that and then a one of these on the bottom. Okay, let's go ahead and do, hmm, let's do this here. And then for like hanging out with the kids, I think I have like some toys in here, right? Or something that we can use to note that. I actually just use the little backpack because they love like, or maybe I'll use a squishmallow. I'll use a squishmallow. Just ripped that a little reach. Okay. All right, so with L and T, and then I just put in at Dell's, Dell's Children's Hospital. And um, I did then finish Annie Bot this night. We didn't really have like a lot going on because I don't even remember what we ate this night, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I finished Annie Bot and I also read a graphic novel. 
Normally I wouldn't mark these as big, but like it was just kind of like a whatever day and just kind of like hanging with the kids. So I'm gonna just use the little book from here like this. And then I read this graphic novel. It was called Rainbow. It was like the first volume. I don't really think I care about it too much. It was like fine, but I don't think I'm like, oh, I gotta go read more of it. It was just, it, I don't know, it was fine. Anybot was good. Um, actually, I actually think I marked when I read, did I mark? Oh, Baby X, yeah. They're like kind of, they're not like similar at all, but they kind of have similar vibes, I think. But um, Anibot, I really liked. I just like the ending was kind of like lackluster, but everything else about it was really good. It's like kind of like a sci-fi thriller, kind of, sort of. I guess both of them are. It's like light thriller. I don't know. It's like mostly sci-fi-ish. I don't know. It's different. So then on Saturday, the boys had haircuts. Theo actually never ended up getting hand, foot, mouth. So like I said, they said Bennett was constipated, sent him home. They had haircuts this day. Lila went to my in-laws. Um, then afterwards, we did go to Burger King with the boys for like breakfast and let them play in the play place. Theo is not, we've found, is not great at play places. He's like kind of high-key terrified of play places. Um, so probably isn't the move for him for the future because he would like go up and then get stuck and then Nick would have to go like retrieve him and like Nick's back has been like not great but also I didn't really want to like mess up my neck because my neck has been on like the verge like I feel like every like so often I'm like I move and I can like feel it like starting to like be like, oh, dear, I'm gonna get you soon. So I'm kind of nervous because <laughs> I feel like it's coming sooner or later. Um, so haircut, I'll just put this in here for Ben and Theo. They were very, 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 very due for one. Um, and then going to Burger King, I'm just gonna use this little takeout bag for that. And then afterwards we did go to Walmart just to get, we probably needed like water or something. I feel like that's what we go to Walmart for most of the time. And um, the kids probably picked out, um, what's it called? Like a Lunchable or something, I don't know. I can see that being the case, making our lives easier for lunch. And then I did end up taking a six hour nap this day. It was really weird, like I don't know what like the deal was I just wasn't feeling super well I don't remember if it was this night or this night I think it might have been this night I ended up like waking up with like chills I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly waking up with like chills and like body aches and stuff I don't think I put that in there but you know um so yeah, so I ended up taking a nap because girl was sheepy sheepy. So for that, what do I want to use? I got something in here to use, right? Can use the little let's see, little eye mask. Be cute. Six hour nap's kind of wild though, but you know sometimes things happen. Six hour nap, and then um, Nick and I just cuddled and read and. Um, ordered five guys which is very random but sometimes it's just the way it goes which five guys is so expensive for like no reason like I'm kind of like what like kind of blown away all right so with Nick then on Sunday um I was hanging out with the kids because I think Nick had to go to work possibly question mark I don't really know um, I also took a nap when the kids napped this day. I was just not feeling 100% at all. I was feeling like poop, basically. So I was not feeling the world's best, but you know, you gotta, you gotta just keep calm and carry on or something like that. My big scissors here today. One snip, call it a day. I'm just gonna cut this so she fits. Okay, 
So for hanging out with the kids, I'm actually going to use from my kids stickers, the little bears, I think, because I feel like the brown really works with this spread. Um, so let's do that here and do a with fam. And then, like I said, I did take a nap. I fell asleep on Nick. Just my new, my new routine, I guess, is just conking in the most random of places. All right, let's do one of those match. One of those match. Here we go, let's do this yellow color, or red, I don't know. I guess this color probably matched the best. Took my little nappy nap. I could use a nap right now, but I'm really trying not to. I also like gave up caffeine this week for the most part. So I think that was the problem of the of the day. And then I was really craving chicken noodle soup, but I had not cooked like all week. And I had most of the like things I needed to make chicken noodle soup. So I was like, all right, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's do the do. And I loved every second of my chicken noodle soup. Um, I did finish reading Happily Never After, which is... A, the new Lynn Painter novel. I didn't really like it. It's like annoying because I feel like I like liked the characters, but then like, I don't know. It kind of lost me like at like 40-ish percent. I was like, mm, I, don't really, I don't really like any of this, so. Not a vibe, wouldn't recommend. I think I'd give it like a three star because I did like the beginning and I wasn't like mad when I finished it. I was just like, okay. And then I did read a little, um, what the heck is it called? Like a little novella called um, With Any Luck. And I think I liked that one. I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure I did. If I had to bet on it, I think I did, but they're like Kindle, oopsies, Kindle book, like novella things, so it was cute, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, so we're going to stick that in, and then Nick did end up this night, like I said, it was like 11, I think, Nick took Bennett to Dell's, and they were there until Tuesday, I brought him home, then me and Nick switched out, and I brought him home on Tuesday, afternoon so um for that I think I'm gonna use let me see what I have actually in here if I have like a something doctory I think maybe I feel like especially when there's a pattern my eyes just are like what am I looking at y'all see anything interesting that I could use I could use a stethoscope keep it easy you know what I'm saying all right, and that, my friends, is the whole Kit Kat and Caboodle. This looks so good. Hold on, wait till I zoom out. It's just like, it's stellar. It's beautiful. It's perfect. It's everything. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Like, that's epic. That's beautiful. That's everything. It's perfection. It's like obnoxious how cute it is. I love it with a little bit of butterflies, a little bit of, and then there's the, these little, like, Twinkles look very like close to these twinkles. So I feel like it all just really goes together and is perfect, beautiful, everything. Let me show you what I'm going to go ahead and de-stash a roni. De-stash, 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 de-stash. Save these bougies though, cause you never know whenever you might need those. I'm done with these scripts. There's only like three of them on the page. Um, I might put a couple of little butterflies and then de-stash the rest of this sheet and I'm just going to de-stash the rest of that because we don't need her. So those are going to de-stash. Like I said, I'm probably going to throw a couple of these butterflies all around and that is the whole Kit Kat and Caboodle. I hope you like this video. Leave me a butterfly if you got all the way to the end and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!